August 27. 413 B. C. The Athenian army under Nicias lost on account of the general's fright at an eclipse of the moon. 524. Flavius Severinus Bthius, a celebrated Roman philosopher, died in prison, probably executed by order of Theodoric. 1556. Charles V, Emperor of Germany, resigned the government to his brother Ferdinand and set out for Spain. 1565. William Rostal died, an eminent English judge of the 16th century, and author of a work on the statutes of England. 1587. At the urgent solicitation of the colony of Roanoke, Governor White returned to England for supplies, but of his countrymen whom he left behind nothing was ever afterwards known. Thus, says Holmes, terminated the exertions of Raleigh for colonizing Virginia. 1590. Sixtus V. Felix Perebi, died, distinguished for the energy with which he extirpated the outlaws, and opposed the overgrown power of Spain. He embellished Rome with numerous and useful structures, among which is the present Vatican. 1630. The first church founded at Charlestown in Boston. Their pastor was to receive a salary of 40 pounds. 1664. Articles of capitulation signed, by which the Dutch colony at New Amsterdam became subjects of England, with the privilege of continuing free denizens. Possess their estates undiminished, to enjoy their ancient customs with regard to inheritance, to their modes of worship and church discipline, and were allowed a free trade to Holland. The doughty governor, Swavesant, could not be prevailed upon to ratify it with his signature till two days afterwards. 1683. Thomas Duncan arrived as governor of the province of New York. He was a man of integrity, moderation, and genteel manners, and may be classed among the best of the provincial governors of New York. 1748. James Thompson, an eminent English poet, died. Author of The Seasons. 1758. Fort Frontenac surrendered at discretion, to the English and provincials under Call. Bradstreet, after a siege of two days. They found in the fort sixty pieces. Of cannon, sixteen mortars, a large number of small arms, a vast quantity of provisions, military stores and merchandise, together with nine armed vessels in the harbor. 1770. John Jorton, an eminent divine of the English Church, and writer on ecclesiastical history, died, aged 72. 1776. Battle of Flat Bush, or Long Island. The Americans surprised by the British and Hessians, and defeated with the loss of about 500 killed and 1,100 taken prisoners, British loss about 70 killed, 350 wounded. 1791. Placidus Fix Milner died, an Austrian ecclesiastic, and writer on astronomy and the canon law. 1793. Adam Philip de C.U. Steins, a French nobleman and general, guillotined. He served in the Seven Years' War and in the American Revolutionary War. 1794. Valenciennes, after Lyle the strongest place of the famous northern barrier of France, surrendered to the Republicans at the first summons. 1813. Second Day's Battle of Dresden. The Allies were defeated and forced to retreat, with the loss of 30,000. The French had 10,000 wounded. The number of killed. Not known. Moreau had both legs shot away by a cannonball. 1816. Algiers bombarded by the British and Dutch fleets, under Lord Exmouth. The day's fleet and defenses were utterly destroyed, and he was compelled to submit. 
to a treaty on his enemy's terms. 1825. Lucretia Maria Davidson, an American poetess, died before completing her 17th year. Her pieces amount to 278, of which Amir Khan is the principal. Some of them written at the age of nine years. 1834. George Clymer, inventor and manufacturer of the Columbia Printing Press, died in London. He was instrumental in improving many other mechanical improvements. 1847. Silas Wright, an eminent American statesman, died at Canton, St. Lawrence County, New York, aged 52. 1849. Gabriel H. Ford, an American jurist, died at Morristown, New Jersey, aged 85. He was one of the most eloquent and efficient lawyers of New Jersey, and held the office of judge of the Supreme Court 21 years. His residence was the headquarters of Washington in 1777. 1850. Benjamin Chambers died, aged 86. He was a native of Pennsylvania, who entered the Revolutionary Army at the age of 16, and afterwards settled in Indiana. He held various important civil and military appointments under the early presidents. 1854. The city of Louisville, Kentucky, was visited by a tornado, which blew down and unroofed a large number of buildings. A church fell upon the congregation, while at worship. Twenty-five were killed and sixty-seven seriously injured. 1857. Rufus W. Griswold, a voluminous American author, died, aged 42. He wrote for numerous periodicals, and left several unfinished works. Thank <laughs> you.